Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kim Kellogg and I am the owner of Lilac Lane DIY where we hope to get you creative and keep you creative. And that's why we're here tonight to show you some awesome projects that you can order and do at home or come in and do them with us. So I have to get started though because I have so many cool things to show you tonight. I cannot wait. Hey Renee, are you vacationing still girl? <laughs> you should be on the beach still, it's not dark yet. All right, so two cool projects to make tonight, but I wanna show you a couple of things. First of all, Sunday's class. Oh my gosh, it's the first in a series that we're gonna be doing, and it is the cottage series. And this cottage is obviously the 4th of July cottage, but how stinking cute is this? Look at all the detail on this piece. I, I love it. There is nothing about this cottage that I don't love. And it's big. It's 10 inches tall by, I think, 5 inches long or across. Um, and this is a first in a series. And they do sit on their own. They are meant to be shelf sitters. And um, I'm super excited about them because it's a series. And I love a series. <laughs> so you would have a whole collection of these cottages to put out for all the different holidays. Thank you, Ashley. I love the detail on this. And look, there's even, it, the door's even paneled. I mean, every, it's got a little thing for the mailbox. And look at that light, because that says farmhouse to me, right? That is a farmhouse light for sure. So, excited about the series. This one's at 1 o'clock on Sunday. And in that vein, I want to tell you guys, no class is Saturday. My baby's graduating. I can't believe it. Last one. Last one's graduating from high school on Saturday. So Haley will be here so you can pick up kits if you order, but you will not be doing any classes on Saturday. So we will be doing them Sunday. So if you've ordered a kit and you want to do it, you're more than welcome to come in on Sunday and hang out with me. And then um, you'll be able to do all your projects. Also, adorable, adorable idea because it is graduation time and I was looking for something really cool to Put all those gift cards in for Maddie for graduation. Hey Carol, hey Tammy. So I made these adorable gift card boxes. Holy cow, how cute are they? You slide your gift card right in there. You put the lid on. You'll have Velcro right here and Velcro on the back to attach them. How stinking cute are they? Oh my gosh, and you get a set of two of them so you can give two people a gift. I love it. I think they're precious. They remind me of the Tooth Fairy boxes, which just makes me so happy because y'all know I loved those Tooth Fairy boxes. So those are my two projects that you'll be able to do um, the cottage as a class on Sunday or as a kit if you'd rather do it as a kit. And of course, you'll be able to order these as a kit. Hey, Donna, long time no see, right? <laughs> you'll be able to order a set of these as well. There is also, um, and I'm not sure if Ashley's had a chance to do it yet or not because I've been bombarding her. There's also a really cool project that is a kit only. You can do it at the shop, but it wasn't a class and it wasn't something that I did live. It's a set of three cat panel wall hangings. So make sure you're on the lookout for those if you are a kitty cat lover. We will have some more cat projects for you because I know that we've been doing a lot of dog projects and I love both. So we're gonna be doing both. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt you down though because we have two amazing projects for tonight that I can't wait to make with you. So the first one, of course, you know I am like, I'm a red, white, and blue girl. I love patriotic projects and this one is no exception. This one is adorable, I love it. It's a USA, of course, the, the whole United States with welcome. And of course we're gonna do red and white stripes on this. So my thought was that we do red and white stripes on this and navy on the welcome, so I'm excited about that. The other project we have is so cool. It is a, um, a initial door hanger, but it also has your last name. And so it has the cutout of your initial and then your last name is cut out to go over top, which is very, very cool. So I'm excited about this one a lot. I can't wait to have this one on my front door. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna do the striping first and then I'm gonna paint the welcome so that we can then glue it all together. I love, love, love this. All right, so let's get started. I've been so excited all day to craft these two projects. Not sure why, but love them, love them. All right, so I'm gonna start with my white stripes, and of course you know red always comes first. If you're doing a flag, red comes first. 
So I'm going to do all of my white striping first, and then I'm going to go back with my red. I feel like I'm going to make less mess if I do it that way. It'll be easier to go over the white with a little bit of red if I need to go over the lines than it will be the other way. And so that's, that's why I'm doing the white first. And so these are all marked for you, which is fantastic. So the lines are there. You just have to follow them to the best of your ability. I'm not a good line follower as a general rule, so I'm going to try my best. Also had a lot of caffeine today, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Also have already picked out Friday's projects because I am that excited about all of the projects this week. Super, super excited. And super excited for my child's graduation party on Saturday. I'm looking forward to her having her family and friends over to celebrate her accomplishments. She is one awesome young lady, as many of you already know. All of my children are incredible. But she is special. You know, the baby is always special. I guess because you feel like you have them longer, right? Because the others go off to school and then they start their lives. And, and then it's just you and them. So she's been like an only child for a little while. I can't tell if she likes it or not. She used to say that that's all she wanted was for everybody to move away so she could be the only child. But then when they did, I don't think she likes it as much as she thought she would. It's that whole grass is greener thing. All right, I'm gonna do this side really quick. Let's scoop that over. I love, love, love having my lines. And if you haven't picked up any orders that you've placed, they are all ready. And any orders placed tonight will be ready by Friday for pickup but you're more than welcome to pick them up Saturday as well. I just want to make sure they're done and out of the way so that I can enjoy Maddie's graduation and party. sure why Kikatan High always seems to do graduation on Father's Day weekend, but all right, I'm going to go back and touch up, but I'm going to get all my stripes done first and then go back in and fill in those lines so that we can get this project underway here. This is a big sign, very long sign. I hope everybody's having an amazing week. The weather could not be more perfect. I know I have a couple people leaving on vacation today. That's awesome, and tomorrow, so that's awesome. I hope they all have a wonderful vacation. I'm hoping that we will get to take a small vacation when Maddie goes to school, which is in August, if you can believe that. Some of you have been on this journey with me a long time, and so you remember when Maddie wasn't even in middle school yet, and now she's graduating high school. And I'm sorry, but you're gonna hear about it till after Saturday, I'm sure, sorry. <laughs> You haven't been into craft with us for a while you need to come in and check it out we have rearranged a little bit make it a little easier for everybody to get around in here also for those of you who've ordered kits I want to tell you thank you thank you thank you I know that um, sometimes when I set a goal it seems like it's not possible to meet but I am very confident that we are going to meet our goal which thank you guys so much for participating in that I am beyond blessed with the customers that I have and like I said I don't traditionally talk about my goals for the business but I'm 
I felt like I wanted to include you all in my goals for this year and I just I'm overwhelmed by the support that you guys have given us so thank you it is true when you support a small business you are you are helping the backbone of our family you are helping um, real people meet their goals not a big corporation with a CEO making a million dollars a year I promise you I don't make a million dollars a year <laughs> You got to take off a lot of zeros for that. But I am blessed to be able to do what I love. And when you can do what you love, it doesn't matter. This is where that angle brush or that oval round brush comes in so handy because you can get up close there. I still can't stay in the lines, but most people can. and then we're gonna go on to the red and then wherever we have a gap we'll fill in with the white if we haven't gone to the line I'm hoping that the red will cover up my boo-boos pretty good and not make pink so we're gonna start at the top so by the time we get down here hopefully this is dry and then if we have to go back with the second coat we will this is really really cute I love having the shape of the United States this is a great door hanger. All right, let's turn this thing back around. The gift bar card box is very cool, aren't they? I love those. Oh, Donna, that cottage. I'm gonna let this dry for a second, so I'm gonna show you that cottage. It is so stinking cute. Look, I'm gonna lean it back but it stands up on its own. Look at all the details on this cottage. It is so adorable and they're all cut out. So they're all three dimensional. So it really looks like a mailbox in front of the house and, the, and a light fixture over the door. I mean, they are just adorable and it's gonna be a series. Hey, Sandra. So you're gonna be able to um, build on this. So you'll have one for for 4th of July and then we'll have another one in the fall and then we'll have another one for Christmas so so on and so forth they will go and if I can find another one for summer I'm gonna do that one as well so that when we're not celebrating 4th of July we can still have a cottage for that season so I love cottages and I love to be able to build on something to have a collection of something and so that's why I think I am um, mesmerized by those cottages all right, so I'm going to try to make room for this guy. He's big. All right, so now we're gonna do our red. Red is making me look like I didn't make any mistakes there. Fixing everything. I'm trying to make sure you can see everything as I go, but this is a really big piece. I'm having a hard time keeping it on the table um, so that you can see all the angles. It's going to make a great statement on your front door or in your entryway, wherever you put it. You know, mine may, might make my mantle. Who knows?
My mantle is about to be covered with graduation things. And it was in deconstruction mode Monday, which is why we did not have a mantle, but I promise you we will be back on Monday with a new mantle. And it's gonna be a little fruity. That's the only hint you're getting this week. And, 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 make sure if you're not on our text list that you get on our text list, you should be receiving a text tomorrow about us going live for our ding dong door hanger. You're not gonna wanna miss that. I am so excited to deliver this one. So tomorrow after hours, I can't tell you their hours, but after hours we will be dropping off another door hanger to one of our local businesses. Also next week, I'm super excited to introduce our Girls Night in a Box packages. You'll be able to pick up kits for four um, to do some crafting at home if you would like. So they're gonna be Girls Night in a Box. Those are gonna be a lot of fun. So if you can't get out for a Girls Night, have the girls over. Everything will be in the box that you need in order to um, have a great night crafting with your girlfriends. So if you can't get a sitter or you just don't want to go out and you want to stay in your PJs or your sweats, then you can do that. Also, don't forget, if you haven't seen the announcements about our Palooza, you're going to get the final announcements about that coming soon. And you're going to not want to wait to get your ticket because it's sold out pretty quickly when we did it on Black Friday. For those of you who are not familiar with our Palooza, we do an evening of crafting with a bunch of amazing projects and dinner, all for $80, which is very, very awesome. You'll go home with some awesome projects to gift or to keep. Last year was Black Friday, and so we did a lot of things that were good for gifting, as well as decorating for the holidays, so that was fun. So you'll have to wait and see how cool this one will be. Not be Christmas related, even though it is July. We will be doing some Christmas in July projects, but not for the Palooza. I know a lot of you ladies on here now were at the Palooza. Okay, this is one thin line right here. And I don't know what happened the day I turned 50, but now I can't see. Right, there we go. Now we'll touch up with the white. these stripes done so we can get our door hanger completed. I do like this one. I love patriotic signs and door hangers because they have such a long shelf life. I mean you've got from Memorial Day all the way through Labor Day to use these projects which makes me happy. The longer I can use something the happier I am and they serve triple duty. I also today painted our door hanger of the month project for the upcoming month, so I can't wait for that either. And for my membership ladies, Membership boxes are going to start going out for the month. That's exciting, too. I can't wait to hear your feedback on this month's box because it's one that I'm really, really excited about. All right, we're going to do the easy stuff first, right? <laughs> and then do that big stripe again.
I'm spreading my paint out because you guys know that I do not like my brush fully loaded when I go up to my edges. I think it's a recipe for disaster. Because all these lines where you had too much paint would be right up there where you can't fix it. So I always try to offload some of the paint off my brush before I do that. So that's why you'll see me do that on my projects sometimes where I just seem to be willy-nilly putting paint in the center. It's to get some of that extra paint off before I do an edge. Not that I don't willy-nilly paint sometimes, but sometimes there's a reason. <laughs> sometimes I'm just too excited to paint. Every once in a while I do something like that. Stick my finger in the red and then in the white. Beautiful. But we can fix it. That's the good thing about crafting. There is very little that cannot be corrected. And if it can't be corrected, it can usually be modified so that it will still work. Which may be why I love to craft so much because there's literally never a mistake. A teacher once who told me there was a solution to every problem and that's a fact all right now I need to fix my boo-boo here and then we have a little bit of white touch-up to do and then we're gonna paint our welcome and this guy is gonna be finished easy peasy Let's see. I'm going to start right up here. We have a few things right here. The brush got a little hard there. Y'all know I like rustic though, so I'm not 100% sure I'm going to fix all of this. I kind of like it. Girl, you don't have to paint them straight, Dawn. You just go with it. Just go with it. I'm gonna try to fix this. Let's see if I can. It may be too much red. We may just have a little special place. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We may be able to go back with another coat and you'll never see it. Never see it. So we're gonna set this one aside and we are going to paint our welcome. And I'm not using tape today, Lynn, because these are honking big letters. I think I'm going to be okay with no paint. Carol, I believe, I believe, I believe um, that it's either the 16th or the 17th of July. But I'll have to double check and make sure. Teresa, this is apple red. And it is a gorgeous color. On screen, off screen, everywhere. I love apple red. All right, so we're gonna paint our welcome really quick. And of course, it will probably take two coats because this blue, for whatever reason, um, to get the color I want usually takes two coats. I'm not sure why it soaks in the way it does, but it's a pretty navy when it has two coats, so we're gonna indulge it and do two coats. It kind of looks like denim if you don't, which is kind of cool too. Gives it a whole different look. We had a color that we were using for a while that was called denim and it 
it always looked like this no matter how many coats you put on it um, which was kind of cool for some projects because it did look like jeans another coat on this Missed my cup. I almost knocked over all the paint. Earlier today, I dropped the lid of a red paint and spilled red paint all over the carpet. So I had to spend, <laughs> spend about 45 minutes getting paint out of the carpet. It's a lot like wine, though. I will tell you what I'm learning about getting paint out of carpet. I seem to have a lot of practice. Um, you don't wipe. So I here um, spray it with a cleanser, with a cleaner, an all-purpose cleaner, and then I blot it up with paper towels. And it comes out much easier than trying to scrub it out. You just keep blotting and wetting, blotting and wetting, and it will be gone. And I promise you this works because you don't see paint when you come in here, but I promise you I spill paint on the carpet daily. could use a third coat but I'm gonna leave it be for now so it can dry so we can get it on I will probably after I glue it on though go back when this is completely dry and put another coat over it unless it dries dark enough I'm not sure yet all right but that's pretty wet let me see because you know I'm bound <laughs> I'm bound to drop the thing and um, get blue paint on the front of my red and white stripes so I'll go ahead and put my twine on and then we'll start gluing our, um, our letters on. That way I can't have an accident in theory. Those of you who know me are laughing right now because that does not mean that we won't have an accident. It just means that there's less of a chance of it. Knotted this three times because the hole is a little too big for my knots. I must have, I must have pulled too hard. Well, now I got to do a fourth one because that one wasn't on top of that one. Sometimes I can get them right on top, and sometimes I don't. So if that happens to you at home, just do another one and push your fingers with it while it goes so that it knots the way you want it to. Not an exact science for sure. All right, now I'm gonna pull this one through. And I always give you extra twine. Some people really like their door hangers long. I do not. I like mine about like that. 
but I want to make sure you have enough twine. So all you have to do after you make your knots is cut off the extra. Some people love to double them. I think that's a really pretty look. <clears throat> so I try to make sure you have enough twine if you like to double your twine that you can do that as well. It just gives it a little more interest. All right, so that one's knotted. We're gonna trim off the excess, which is enough for another whole door hanger, good grief. All right, now let's start gluing this together. This is beautiful and very wet, so I'm gonna need to be exact or I'm gonna make a mess. My perfectionists in the group are cringing right now. <laughs> but it'll be okay. I'm feeling confident I'm not going to make a mess. I'm just going to eyeball this and drop it. Just like that. And now I'm going to put glue on the W, and this one is going to be done. Whoopsie, that was a lot of glue. My glue was pouring out of there. All right. There you have it. Tap those down since I didn't push them with the wet paint. And it is finished. That is so stinking pretty. I love how simple that is. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So. Now we are going to do our monogram, and I'm excited about this one. I like this. I like the reverse look. I, um, sorry, I'm just trying to read the comments really quick. Sorry, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, for, um, for doing that. The lines are lasered on, Teresa, on that one, so it makes it super easy. Oh, you bought it from Hobby Lobby, huh? <laughs> I like um, I like Home of the Free. I saw that as well. So now it's time to do my favorite project of the night. I'm super excited about this, and I know y'all are gonna say, "Oh my gosh, here we go." She's gonna do black and white and I am but I think maybe I'm gonna do black I don't know where the black went hold on I'm gonna do black here because I want my K to really pop through there I want it to really look like a um, a cutout and so we're gonna do the black to give it some dimension under there sorry I didn't have my black I didn't have my black okay so I'm gonna paint this whole background black. I need to get my cottage out of the way before I mess it up, because I really love that. All right, so I'm gonna paint this background black really quick. Not a lot of it's gonna show, so I'm not worried about how pretty it looks. Just gonna slap some black paint on there. This one is also going to get an additional detail that I think is really fun. And we're going to work on that in a second. These edges don't even really matter. The only thing that really matters is that center where your initial is going to peek through. Super quick. And we're going to set this one to the side. Ooh, splattered black paint on me. I'm telling you, if there's a mess to be made, I'm going to make it. All right, now I am staining this part. And so, not staining, I'm using my, my antiquing wax. And so I'm gonna wipe it on and wipe it off really quickly and then 
the extra detail that we're going to be adding to the twine on this one is beads and so we're going to do the same thing to the beads we're going to use this to stain them it's not really staining but for lack of a better word we're going to use them Paper towels. All right. I'm just going to make sure we go over the whole thing. So quick and simple and there's no smell there's no mess it washes right off your hands it's almost as good as the um, the brown paint technique I love the brown paint idea because you almost always have that on hand and so it works out well all right so we've done that now you'll notice that's cut out. So with every door hanger you get, you're gonna end up with an extra letter that's already got lines on it that you could use for another project. So you get two projects for one with this one. All right, now we're gonna have three beads on each side. So I've got six beads here and I am just gonna take my brush and just go over them a little bit, Woo, throw them around a little bit and then we're just gonna wipe them with a paper towel. and it'll get them all over the rest of it. Get that brown wax on the rest of the bead when you're wiping it with the paper towel. I like beads on my door hangers. I don't always put them on there, but I do like the look. It gives it a little something extra. And then when we're done, I'll show you how to attach them. It's really super simple. Um, and you're still gonna be using twine, so it's really easy. runaway over here I'm gonna grab that one and then I'm gonna take paper towel and wipe them all and then we're gonna set those to the side and we're gonna paint the last name which of course is my last name but um and then we're gonna glue it all together another super easy project that looks really impressive now for these you should be able to just roll it around between your fingers in the paper towel and get them nice and even you know, I will probably go back and dry brush mine just because. At home, I recommend that you paint each one and then do this step because mine is drying a little bit and making me have to work a little harder than I want to. I'll set these to the side, paint my letters, and then I'm going to show you how to put this all together. I'm going to use a finer brush for this though, because I don't want a lot around the edges. I'm just going to paint my letters white. super super pretty it's a very classic look it's understated but it's very cool and it definitely won't be like anybody else's I'm a door hanger watcher I look at everybody's doors when I'm driving and I haven't seen one like this
placement of the last name on here is going to be a personal preference as to how you like the, the lettering. If you don't want your last name on this and you just want the initial, just let me know. I think it looks beautiful either way. there this one's going on my door as soon as I take down the graduation hat <laughs> which won't be until Sunday then I have a cool Father's Day one so I guess it'll be next week <laughs> even with a little brush. All right. Now, 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 we are gonna glue together our bottom and our top and we're gonna go ahead and get our beads and our twine on, and then we're gonna glue the name across. And then this one will be finished too. We are moving right along. All right, so the holes are already there, so you just have to line up the holes just like that. So I'm gonna flip this, see how stinking cool that is? That really pops with that black behind it. I love that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. And line my holes back up. Can't even see my holes, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I do love this. Oh, so pretty. It's all so pretty. That would look really pretty by itself. I'm not even going to lie. That is really, really impressive looking. You know what would be really cool that I'm just looking at it? If you didn't have the holes in there, that would make a really cool trivet on the middle of your table. That's stinking adorable. Love it. All right, so twine. We're going to twine now. And the way we're going to twine is we're going to string our beads first before we do anything else. Come on. I don't want to have to tape you. But I might have to. And I'm going to push three to that side. And then I'm going to trim this off. And string these three. That one's going to be a no-go all the way. I'm going to have to open that one up a little bit more. Maybe. I am D. 
determined. Let's see. No, that's not going to work either. Yes, it is. Where there's a will, there's a way, guys. There we go. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to run our twine backwards this time. Where I normally go through the front, we are going to just go through the back. And what's going to happen is we're going to get these beads like this. And we are going to tie a knot. And you don't have to do it this way. You can do anything you want. This is just the way I'm doing this one. Put those beads there. And I'm going to trim this really close like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. tie a knot, cut it off, and then I'm going to have my beaded hanger. I didn't want to bead all the way up. I just wanted that one little bit of natural on the twine with those beads. I think it's just really pretty and another um, pop for your project. All right. Love it. You can put the beads up. You can put the beads down. You can leave them off. Whatever you like. Now, we are going to glue the last name on there, and then we're going to be done. Then I'm going to clamp it and leave it overnight, and then it'll be ready to hang up. So here is, now this is going to require some, some finagling with your letters to figure out where you want them and how you want them. Because you do have these cutouts, you're going to have to be mindful of your letters. And when you glue your letters, like my E needs to be right here. So I'm going to have to glue right there and put something on top of it to hold it so it doesn't fall down. So be mindful of that when you're doing your letters. Same thing with the O. The O is going to be like that. It should all be the same height though. There we go. Just like that. And I'm going to glue those on, but I want to show you now because I want to clamp before I glue. This is what your finished project is going to look like. And I think that's just beautiful. I love it. I'm going to put the E there just so you can see it for now. I think that's just stunning. Like, I love it. Nobody else is going to have one like this. You're going to be the only one on your street to have a door hanger like this, which is what I love. Y'all know I love that. <laughs> So those are our two signs for tonight. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Fee. Hey, Bonnie. It would make an amazing gift, Dawn. I love it. I think it is such a great, great project. And I love having something like nobody else has. So, Palooza, 17th, right? <laughs> right, Carol? 17th. 17th, six-ish, like we did last time. Um, we are only going to have 10 to 12 seats for it. So once the tickets go on sale and they're sold out, I, I can plan another one, but we won't be able to add anybody to that one. Um, if you want to come play with us on Sunday with this adorable cottage, I'm going to be posting the class information for this in just a few minutes. Ashley, of course, will get these projects posted for you, as well as the gift box, the gift card boxes. I love these. I love them. Maddie's going to be seeing one in kick tan colors, obviously, for graduation, so I'm excited about that. Also have a couple new tray sets that are going to be dropping tomorrow. I am in the process of painting them now. And um, don't forget to sign up for text alerts because tomorrow night we're ding-dong door hanger in and I want you to know where we're going. So, and you get special discounts and stuff for being on the text list. You definitely want to do that. 
It's a really cool feature. And I'm even remembering to check it more now because I was forgetting to check it because it doesn't come in like a normal text. It comes in on the texting app. And Ashley and I were learning as we went. So <laughs> I think we have figured it all out now. Don't forget there won't be any scheduled classes for Saturday, but make sure you come out and hang out with me on Sunday because we are gonna be crafting like crazy on Sunday. So have a great night, guys. Thank you so, so much for supporting this small business and loving what we do. Have a great night. Bye.